Episode 32 of the Borman Lawyers Court Report show, we take a look at a low-range drink driving offence at Southport Magistrates Court where we successfully achieved a work yeah, license. Hey, yeah. Honestly, I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. My day-to-day. ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. They'll say, I say it ain't no way. I ain't never listen, kept them at the distance. This is for the ones who ain't afraid. And this is more than some paper chase. I wonder who else can say the same. G'day, Josh Borman here. I've just come out of the Southport Magistrates uh, courthouse in uh, Southport on the Gold Coast where I've appeared on a Section 87 uh, work license application. Uh, our client was charged with a, a relatively low level reading of 0.078. Uh, so in Queensland, low range is between uh, 0.05 through to 0.10. Um, so he was kind of just a little bit above the middle part of that uh, low range reading. It was a next day offence where he had uh, attended a Christmas work party the night before. Um, thought he did the right thing. He had a number of drinks. He um, uh, put provisions in place not to drive home, but to stay at a friend's place that night. And the next morning, he got up relatively early, around 6 o'clock and around 6.30, proceeded to drive home, feeling fine and thinking that he had had uh, a full night's sleep, that he would be uh, fine to drive his vehicle. Um, that wasn't the case. He was pulled over for a random breath test by police, recorded a, uh, a low, low level reading of 0.078. He was cooperative and compliant with the police. He didn't have any passengers in the car. And, um, uh, and he was charged accordingly. So the matter came before court uh, in early uh, January. We sought to adjourn the matter and uh, list it for a Section 87 work license application, which really um, is, they only have provisions for this in Queensland to apply for work licenses. Um, but there is a fair amount of um, paperwork and preparation that needs to go into these sorts of um, applications. We need to put together a lengthy affidavit of the applicant, an affidavit from the applicant's employer. They need to be signed, um, witnessed by the solicitor or ju- justice of the peace. Um, they then need to be lodged with the court along with a specific Section 87 work license application. Copies need to be served on the police, Queensland Police Prosecution. Uh, and then we obviously need to attend court to persuade the magistrate to um, grant the work license. Today we were successful in granting that work license uh, and um, uh, our client was restricted uh, on, well, he was given a restricted work license for a a relatively short period of only two months, uh, given a $600 fine as well. Um, We did, the hurdles in this case were really the fact that he he didn't do a traffic offenders program, worked seven, six days a week, sorry, um, from very early in the morning, often till late at night. So he just couldn't get away from work to complete that course. And his traffic record, he did have a a major drink driving offence about 12 years ago. Following that, he had a major offence of disqualified driving. However, in the last nine years, his traffic record has improved, which has also coincided with his stable employment, maturing as a man, having children. Um, so that, that they, they all coincide together. And he hasn't had that bad a traffic record over recent times, but still we did have to address the prior offenses um, and, uh, and persuade the court that he was a fit and proper person to be granted a work license. We were able to do that and we were also able to show that our client would suffer significant financial hardship if he was unable to drive for the purpose of work. Uh, Magistrate agreed, granted the work license uh, for a very short period of only two months and $600 fine. So our client was ecstatic, he was very happy because um, as a a concreter um, and a site foreman, uh, his license is inc- it's an incredibly important part of his job. He needs to travel from site to site, um, transporting heavy tools and equipment with him on a daily basis. So without that, he would have been without a job. There's no doubt about that. So a very happy client today. If you found yourself in a situation, um, whether in Queensland or New South Wales, where you've been charged with a drink driving offence, drug driving, or any other major traffic offence, you can rest assured that 
Um, Borman lawyers are specialists in uh, this area. We um, probably 90% of our work uh, is in the area of traffic law in both jurisdictions. So we've got our head around the laws, um, the procedures, and how best to pre present your case before court. So if you're in the unfortunate situation where you've got to attend court on a similar offence, feel free to give me a call on 1300 941 900. You can also go along to our website, which is Borman Lawyers dot com dot au that's b o o r m a n lawyers dot com dot au plenty of information there to read up on make yourself a bit more familiar with the situation you might be in um, but certainly if there's any other burning uh, questions you've got uh, or you want to engage me to appear for you and represent you at court uh, feel free to call me on one three hundred nine four one nine hundred and I can talk to you uh, about your case and what we can do for you. Thanks for tuning in today, guys.